Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna see when you first power the boiler up and talk through some of the reasons we have to do deaeration. All the indicators illuminate on first power up. Then it moves through to the initialization stage. It will show you the parameter number of the board and it will go to the pressure, which must be over one bar. Once it's done that, it will move to a series of dashes. That's a countdown. It's a five minute deaeration. Deaeration is important to clear all the air out so it doesn't damage the main heat exchanger. It will go down for about five minutes. The dashes will disappear over the five minute countdown. All you have to remember is to maintain the pressure. The diverter valve will move up and down and the pump will go on and off. Once it's all finished, the boiler will be in normal operation and you'll be able to fire it. So now the deaeration is completed, what you can see on the display is it says OK and the pressure's at 1.2 bar. There's no symbols on here at the moment because at the moment I've got the heating off. It's a summer winter switch, so very easy for the customer to use. If they don't want the heating on in the summer, they can just turn the dial down and the heating will go off. The same for the hot water. So we're going to turn both of these on. You wait for the display to go back to normal. And now you can see my heating indicator is flashing. I've got a heating demand. And it will run through its sequence and fire the boiler. To put the boiler into commissioning mode, I simply press the two left hand buttons. On release, I'll get a capital L, which is low fire, and the boiler primary flow temperature. Either of these dials means I can move it to central heating maximum, that's a small H, or to hot water maximum, which is the large H. To come out, simply press the return button. It will last in commissioning mode for 20 minutes or bring it out early if you want to.